great recognition for the work we're doing to support the business and help the business with its change and transformation. And on a personal level, it was a real thrill to receive the award, but I do see these things as the result of team efforts. I think the first part is that I support my colleagues in the business to help them lead their people through. What we do is we help set the frameworks, we help give people the skills and the confidence to be able to lead their own people through. I think it's very important when you're talking about change though to have very clearly articulated plans, uh, to be able to be very open in communication, give people the reasons for the change and be very honest and transparent about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Absolutely. We've got a, quite a major focus at the moment around our brand and we're going through a brand refresh activity and there's a massive focus there around employees as stakeholders and employees and as ambassadors and engaging employees in understanding our current brand attributes and what they should be for the future so that we're actually building it from our engaged employees. The HR business partners that sit in our teams are seen as part of the leadership teams of each of our division. They sit there, they're involved in business planning and strategy development at the local level, but also they're able to work closely with the corporate teams and help be the eyes and ears on the ground and the two-way communication between the corporate team and the business. It's not just important, it's critical. So we don't actually develop people's strategies and pluck them out of the air. The key thing is understanding what the business needs to do and then how we can support that from a people perspective. Just like our technology and our finance people do the same thing, it's really around what's the business objectives, what's our corporate business plans and strategies and then what we need to do from a people perspective to help drive that. So it's actually hand in glove. I think the biggest change certainly, particularly in recent years, has been the focus on talent. It's something that you can't go to any organisation that's not talking about it. That's really a sign of the times where we've had tighter labour markets, it's been harder to find skilled people, and I suppose to an extent people are recognising more and more that business success comes through having high quality people. I think the thing that's really important is understanding people's values and how they align to the values of the organisation. Uh, you'll see that there are a lot of people who are very different in the way that they operate, from very technical people through to people who are very entrepreneurial, but you can actually see that there's a strong alignment and binding around those values. It's not around throwing money, it's not around sort of uh, necessarily trying to put sort of financial or tangible incentives. Generally what we find is it's providing that challenge and the opportunity to continue to grow. Certainly finding people in our industry can be difficult because we have a number of very deep specialist roles. We do a lot of work around talent mapping the industry and understanding where the talent lies both externally as well as making sure we've got good internal talent mapping. So that's, I suppose that's one of the big challenges, attracting people and understanding where the talent is. One of the key things that I have taken away from the people that I've seen as role models is Firstly, when you go into an organisation, make sure you look around and learn. Obviously, respect confidences, but, but look around and learn and ask questions and make sure you put your hand up to get involved and don't be afraid to roll your sleeves up to learn stuff and don't feel that anything's beneath you. When I think about what makes a great leader, a number of things come to mind. One of those is really the ability to be vulnerable. So it's not feeling that you know everything and that you're prepared to listen and learn and take advice from people around you. You don't always have all the answers, but you're prepared to sort of lead from the front and lead with people rather than leave people behind. I think that's really important. 